What's going on, folks? Enjoy Colts Make Dash, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, let's show the court what I believe, at least, is the problem in this photograph. It's the tailpipe, I'm guessing. The problem in this photograph is here. That's gonna be generic. What's this? There's something poking out of the car's muffler. Oh, muffler, not t oh, I would call it a tailpipe, personally. So that, so that explains, so I'm right, actually. My second guess is gonna be, uh, the watch. But, uh, so Edgeworth noticed it as well. Uh, and so that explains what Lena was talking about with the muffler. Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth! Your Honor! You just said muffler! Indeed, he did. However, I see no traces of a muffler or a scarf of any kind in this photograph! It's because it's not a muffler of a scarf, it's the muffler of a car. Uh, even though I would personally call it a tailpipe, but dot dot dot! Oh, why did I do that? A muffler is also part of, uh, is also a part of the car and motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. Yes, the tailpipe. I see, and I see! What's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car's muffler? I'm guessing it's the note that we found. Hmm, so what if there is something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It does if the, uh, if the note means anything. Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. Yeah, well, what? I don't know what he's talking about. Let's hear what Mr. Wright has in his mind! Oh boy, I'm gonna have to tell him. Tell us why you think the piece of cloth is in the muffler is related to the case! Uh, I'm going to take a state, but... Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with the victim's note. See, touch the check button for D is 675-12-2. Do we hear anything about those in the testimony? Or 67S it was. Well, Your Honor, how do you feel about that? He has no idea, yeah, that isn't it? Actually, I don't feel well at all! I have this pounding headache! <laughs> oh, God. No, no, I meant what do you think about the... I'm afraid the reason for that headache is you, Mr. Wright! Yeah, so that wasn't it. The cloth is found in the car's muffler, right? Muffler, muffler! Where have I heard that word recently? Muffler! Um, so... Let's hear it, Mr. Wright. Okay, so let's load that state. Uh... And I guess, see, my guess is going to be the cell phone, because, see, the word muffler is overheard during a call made at 518. There we go. Let's go with that. Miss Star, there we go. That's better. Recall your testimony for the court. Ah, uh, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. That's back when we were talking about if she had blood on her. Muffler! Arr! Yarr! She's all s- Blech. Even though I'm personally hung. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was not her scarf, but the muffler of the car? It was actually this exhaust pipe. If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. And I think we- so, Oh, wrong! And what now? Blackness. Well, it seems we'll have to suspend the proceedings, so this is gonna end the day. Sus suspend I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth, so he's probably going to instruct us to come back and find it and get it to us. If we leave any question unanswered, we have to do what we here we have uh, If we leave any question unanswered here, we do a disservice to the law. Please. Have the call at the crime scene inspected at once to bring me that cloth. Okay. The mark will wait until after we've seen all the evidence. Agreed? Say dot dot dot. I suppose so. Me. So that goes to the That was close. But, we made it. At least for now. Ooh. The call will adjourn for a 30 minute recess! Oh, I'm guessing... So we're not going to have an, the day end yet. We're just going to take a 30 minute recess while we wait for the cops to go get the cloth. Okay. <laughs> it's lunchtime after all! And look who brought us lunches! He's still hungry- Oh, that's Judge- that's, Let's say in the according to the thing. I imagine it's supposed to be Phoenix, though. He's still hungry? To be continued. Okay, so... Wait a second. Is this going to be a new day, or just a recess? Alright, I'll come back when I get there, wherever it is.
Okay, here, we're back. Uh, February 23rd, 1156 AM, District Court to defend the lobby number two, so it's not, in fact, a new day yet. Um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Uh, yeah, they can't see. Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake about to reach the surface? But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, we do eventually get there. Except today, we're swimming in quicksand. So what happened here, sister, anyway? Excuse me, am I, why am I yawning? Apparently, she got called off to the judge's chambers. What? Uh, uh... They're not ba they're not begging, are they? <laughs> hmm, probably something to do with that piece of cloth. <laughs> so this is where we turn this trial around, right? Uh, probably not. Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth? <laughs> yeah. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell the truth. Oh, my nose is stuffy. <laughs> That might affect my ability to see. Hold oh, up, partner. I'm gonna guess that this is Marshall. Yep, it is. They say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a young at least. Officer Marshall! I thought I'd come take a look, see how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. So, did he, does he have the cloth with him? They've got the place locked down entirely in a fort in enemy territory. Mmm, excuse my stuffy nose. What is going on over there, anyway? All the police I've seen these last few days have been really on edge, and in, in this guy's case, literally, with his knife. Don't you get en got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worried about how the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Oh, God. Hey, um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing the scarf. No, she was not. He's gonna drink from his flask. You don't say. Now, don't that just be it all? Uh, question mark? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time, except it wasn't this time. It was, in fact, a tailpipe. I saw it that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. Okay. Why is it even relevant if she was or not? We already determined that, what, that... Well, yeah, actually that helps us because that explains how she mistook the blood. You know, she's probably just lying. What?! At the award ceremony that afternoon. As you've seen it too, uh, I reckon. What does that mean? Oh, except in the photograph taken... Oh, excuse me! In the, in the phone taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf, so she must have discarded it at some point? How does- why does that matter? So, the star wasn't mistaken! Hmm. Well, it's about time, so I guess that means that explains the blood that she saw all over her neck, allegedly. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns, and sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. Ugh, I have a bad feeling about this. I really hate this guy's analogies. They're worse than Hyros. <laughs> so, where are we swimming now, Mr. Wright? Um, if it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. <laughs> I, I, You know what? I could go for some fine ribs right now. So, we're fading back to black. I guess we're going to go back to the courtroom. February 23rd, 12.32 p.m. Just record to courtroom number 9. Murmur, murmur. I want to resume! <laughs> okay, what's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. And why is he saying it with so many dot dot dots? Well, whoops, I'm dropping things. Uh, Edgeworth is pissed. Is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets! That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes! Oh, what is wrong with him? <laughs> what's more, your eyes are unfocused! You're doubled over! Your back is bent! Uh, so, and the judge keeps going on about it. It, it can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, I guess we'll find out in a second. Well then, I believe it is time we continue on with this trial. Alright, let's do it. During our recess, I requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. And I hope we did. The, this is unacceptable. What is wrong with him? Hmm. It seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Mm -hmm. Uh, er, excuse me, knock knock, says an unknown voice. Question mark, who's there? Uh, who the fuck is this guy? 
uh, what's with this guy? And he's got some issues. A strange, stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Why is he so orange? Um, hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Is he, like, wearing a portable heater or something? Wait, who on earth is he? Uh, uh, we're just gonna start Ah, it's you! I'm a little confused as to what's going on here. We're just gonna stare at him while he silently says something. Oh, oh, heh <laughs> heh! Uh, so, like, I didn't even have an option to continue there. Sorry, I'm late, Aji. The roads are packed. It's just me. Wait, what? Aji? Does this guy know Edra somehow? What? Who is this guy? Long time no see. Hi, uh, Edra. How have you been? Swim much these days? Okay, this guy's gonna be a hammy voice. Oh, hello, hello. No, oh, I've been so busy. Uh, bi uh, busy, busy, smizzy, Aji, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> You have to make time to relax! So wait, is Udgy the judge? Udgy, could that be judgy? So he's not talking to Edward, he's talking to the judge. Yeah, yes indeed! Udgy seems to be his nickname for the judge! I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry, but who are you? State your name and occupation! <laughs> ah! So you're Rilo, the attorney! I've heard good things about you, son! Yeah, uh, that's a good voice to do, so he's heard about me from who? From the judge? Uh, uh, the thanks? So sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? I guess he's talking about Edgeworth. You know, we should all go swimming together sometime! Jolly! <laughs> God, this guy's almost like Santa Claus. Little, little worthy. Uh, Mr. Wright! <laughs> you don't know the, the district chief of police? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> ch chief of police? You're, I, I technically don't. I should. He's a top ranking the police officer in the entire district! And we're just gonna stare at him. Name's Gaunt! Damon Gaunt! Pleased to meet you, everyone! <laughs> so, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? What happened two years ago? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. The the muffler scarf thing. Hey, the, that's... So, I guess he had it in his possession during the during the incident. My sister's muffler! So, Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. Ugh. Excuse me. Uh, so, wait, I thought she wasn't in the picture, though. Oh. But the think it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe! Oh, so... Oh! So that, uh, what's he doing with this hair? So that explains why she wasn't wearing it. So... She stuffed her muffler into a muffler. <laughs> hey. I don't know these car know this! And we're just gonna stare at him for a while. And what's that? Uh, it's really quite embarrassing, even for us! Uh, uh they didn't find it. Uh, so, uh, what's this? It's what you call a switchblade knife! Quite perplexing, this! Right, and, um, well, so are we saying this was the real murder weapon or what? Chief! What kind of outfit are you running? Mr. Edgeworth! How could they mistake such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Wait. No, no, wait a minute, Worley! I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? Wait. Exclamation point. Have a look at this document where it says the person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature. Miles Edgeworth? Wait, uh, what? So he was in charge of investigating. Wouldn't that be uh, Marshall's job? Uh, that's no fair. The day of the crime, I, I had your head in the clouds because you got the award. I know how you feel, but you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. Oh God! What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. Uh, 
Anyway, exclamation point. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Andrew at a loss for words! Wait, why am I doing that in Gant's voice? That's, uh, Emma saying. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth! Gah! The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Y yes Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at this- at the blade of this knife. Okay, do the, the- the blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Let me guess, it's covered in blood. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Uh, why is he making it? Uh, yes, well, I think all you have to do is push that switch, and... No, see. If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pull my gavel anymore! Oh my god. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point at people anymore. Use your left hand, I guess? Or I guess he points with his left hand. Make the judge use his left hand. Come on, just hurry up and open it! Okay. Say, so, oh, it's, uh, it's switching to it and making me do it. Okay. So, okay, so it's gonna do do one of these things. I actually, uh, kinda have to go somewhere again. So I'm actually gonna end this now, and I'm gonna examine it in the next one. I'll make a dash, and I'm out.